almost like I've been plucked out of the world and put into this storybook. I think that although that seems so unrealistic, it's actually our own world and nature that have created that. And I always think that that's awesome and really cool. So I'm going to talk to you about French Rain and the sort of meaning behind the lyrics and how I came to write them and the inspiration behind them. Funnily enough, uh, it was written in France and it's about my time in France. I went on a holiday there and we went up these gorgeous mountains um, and there were these beautiful streams and waterfalls and just trees everywhere and it was just, it was surreal. And I had never been anywhere like that before. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I remember coming back in the car and there was this thunderstorm and I was inspired. And I just really wanted to capture that in the song because not only with a song you can remember words and remember things that happen, but music puts feeling with those words so that you can rem remember the feeling as well as that memory and it's like a time capsule for me. Can I describe the smell of the rain tonight? Like the warm shimmers of a campfire splashing on the roof of your car. I never knew time could buy this past. So that lyric was inspired by this car journey home. This thunderstorm started happening and it was really humid, it had been a really hot day and you know thunderstorms tend to happen after this to sort of clear the air and I really felt that, I felt like it was clearing the air, it was like this fresh start and I had the, um, the window rolled down and I could just hear it and it was just settling. There was this fresh smell and apparently there's a word for this, it's called petrichor, this smell after the rain. I was just thinking like what does what does this feel like? Can I describe the smell of the rain? And my answer obviously was uh, like the warm shimmers of a campfire. It was just warm and lovely. And I thought, oh, that's the lyric. And I got my phone out and I started writing it down. So I just started reminiscing on all the things that happened that day and, and how beautiful it was. The air is light, like the breath in my chest. A feeling of a new start of stolen happiness. That is this feeling of just happiness that was almost not mine and like nobody could ever take away from me. It was too good to be true almost. And it was just really lovely. So that inspired that lyric. In French rain, rain, rain. Funnily enough, I originally had that down as in this rain. It wasn't until, until later when I had got home and I was like playing out with some guitar bits and some melody ideas that I realised, you know, I really wanted to encapsulate that moment in France, not just any old rain. I wanted it to be specific to that time and place in that experience, basically. Yeah, I just suddenly was like, in French rain. I was like, that's so much better. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I changed it to In French Rain and I kept it. Can I describe this feeling of freedom? Open and paths for miles and trees. Waterfall streams stretch ahead of me. The thunder's crashing, but I'm so happy. So, this verse is about this feeling of freedom, obviously. And it was that feeling of freedom. I was reminiscing on that day that had just come. It took the same theme of trying to describe how I was feeling uh, and my senses um, and everything that was going on in that car, but also like remembering what had happened that day at that time. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my cat outside meowing and making a lot of noise and running up the stairs. So I had just come from this beautiful place and I will find videos for you and I'll put them up because it was it was gorgeous. And I'm sure the videos and photos will not do it justice, but it was like these windy like streams up this mountain. There was like beautiful trees just all around. So that was this idea of freedom and being within nature, I guess, inspired that. Can I describe the warmth of the sun on my skin? See through water to splashing. We can swim down mountains. 
sins and lies I know nothing here So again this was me taking in how it was so hot and I wanted to like remind myself how nice it was to be in this hot country for a start but also yeah what it felt like to have like the sun shine down on my skin whilst there was all this beautiful clear water that was just really nice as well to bathe in and um, I'm just like appreciate appreciating them basically um, yeah and I just felt so happy you know I was just in this really beautiful place with nature and everything and I'd never been like like somewhere like this before I mean you know I said when we got there can we go to the beach and they said you know there's no point going to the beach because the rivers are nicer and I'm thinking really coming from England our rivers definitely aren't nicer than the beaches but when I got there it made so much sense it was just it was gorgeous and I'd just never been anywhere like that and I I wanted to remember that so um, that's the sort of idea that I wanted to capture in the song wind in hair paint this new memory feeling of a new life and humble peacefulness I was on the car ride home windows down that feeling of the wind in my hair after there was just a thunderstorm and it was just so peaceful and tranquil and I wanted to like paint this paint this memory um, through lyrics or through a song um, and through description or descriptive words so um, and it was this really beautiful peaceful feeling and just like but really true and authentic and humble so humble peacefulness can I describe the view from up here water shimmers up the rocks like tears and this was like the sum up of just how beautiful it was and it, I was like wanting to take in all of these surroundings I had never seen before or experienced before coming from England and all of that uh, and I was like up on one of the rock banks looking down at all these rocks like these waterfalls streams um, the trees the, everything it was really lovely and I was like can I describe all of this and do it justice which is what I've tried to do with this song and then the second part is which I think is maybe one of my favourite parts the water shimmers up the rocks like tears and I remember so specifically when I first got there going down into the rivers and like some of the rocks would sort of cave over as the stream went um, towards the waterfall and I remember noticing um, going down that like the sunlight was reflecting the water up like bouncing it up onto the rocks and it was just like these little like shimmery glows that kept sort of moving and like little rain like almost rainbowy reflections and um, and it was like it was honestly magical it was like in some place with Peter Pan's like fairyland or something <laughs> maybe that's just the way that I look at the world it was just almost so cool to think that although that seems so unrealistic it's actually our own world and nature that have created that and I always think that that's awesome and really cool my final little phrase right at the end if you noticed it fairy dreams and I had some other other lyrics but I wanted to keep that one specifically in because almost like I had been plucked out of the world and put into this storybook from when I re read fairy books when I was younger um, and it was like surreal and really beautiful and uh, and yeah it was like fairy dreams as if I had dreamt of this when I was a little child reading fairy books <laughs> So yeah, that's, I just wanted to keep that at the end. Essentially, that is the lyrics of French Rain summed up and how I was inspired when I was in France. There is an overarching meaning to the song and I think that that is to be more grateful and be more aware of our surroundings and I, I felt when writing this song and then looking back at it, being able to experience something so lovely and instead of that passing you by and it just being another memory that you just pile on top of the other ones and you don't really take in it was that idea of you know I want to really appreciate this because sometimes all you need to do is just take time off your phone or just like, stop doing whatever you're doing or thinking and just take a second and just think like what does it feel like to be this happy like because, you know, we, we spend a lot of time thinking about how sad we are, how angry we are, and, and, and we go through other emotions. But when it comes to happiness, we rarely stop to appreciate 
how happy we could feel and appreciate that feeling and take in the senses and take in what it actually feels like. How does this feel? And Because it tends to boost that feeling. It feels, you know, you feel happy, but then when you think about why you're feeling so happy and, and like how that feeling makes you feel, it almost like boosts that and it makes you even happier. So like why shouldn't we when we're excited or we're happy or it's a lovely moment, like why don't we cherish cherish those feelings as well? So yeah, that's my experience with it. And um, yeah, I hope that you can sort of feel the same way if you try that next time. Next time you're out, next time you're having a good time, give it a go. So yeah, thank you everybody who has watched this and has been interested interested enough to listen to the lyrics behind French Rain. Thank you for listening to French Rain if you have and if you haven't, it's on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, um, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to music, just type in French Rain, type in Troy Park Roth. I'll put a link below as well. Um, and yeah, give it a listen. And if you have listened, you can listen to it again now that you've seen this video and maybe you can listen to the lyrics and you'll realise what I meant when I wrote them and you'll have an insight into, yeah, behind the lyrics. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm sure I'll be back again soon. <laughs>